Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot for Minecraft Java Edition 1.13 has been released. Here is snapshot 18w14a. This one contains some tweaks to the new content added for Update Aquatic and some new features as well. My name is Sliced Lime, I'm here to take you on a tour through the features and changes in this version. Let's start with a new item that has been added. It's Phantom Membranes, that's a new drop from Phantoms that drop instead of the leather that was there as a placeholder before. Phantom Membranes now replace leather as the repair material for Elytra wings as well. So if you want to repair your wings, you need to get a Phantom Membrane to do that. Together with this, there's a new potion type. That potion is Slow Falling. It's brewed from an awkward potion using phantom membranes. Its default duration is 1 minute 30 seconds, but it can be extended with redstone to an extended potion of slow falling, which lasts 4 minutes. It applies the slow falling effect when used that prevents any fall damage and slows down your fall speed dramatically. Using slow falling in water means that you don't move down at all unless you press crouch or swim using the new swimming animation activated by sprinting in water. Slow falling while you have elytra wings deployed allow you to glide and remain airborne at very low speed with minimal loss in altitude as well. These new potions can be made into all of the regular potions types, they can be made to throne potions with the same durations, lingering potions with the durations 22 seconds and 1 minute, and arrows of slow fall that last 11 seconds for the first one and 30 seconds for the extended one. This doesn't come without its share of bugs. One bug is that levitation appears to have been mixed up with slow falling. So if you apply a levitation effect either through a command or by getting hit by a shulker bullet, you now actually get slow falling instead. And the effect also fails to properly clear out of the HUD once it's done, so you'll have a slow fall effect that is kind of stuck there and half of the effect appears to be working. You take fall damage again, but you still seem to be slow falling, like if you were affected by a lower gravity. Another new thing in this version is the Riptide enchantment now behaves differently for Tridents than it did in previous snapshots. Now, if you have Riptide on a trident, the trident can no longer be thrown at all. Instead, when you try to throw it, it launches you forward together with the trident. Since you can't throw it, you can't use it at all if you are not in a situation where the Riptide would take effect. So if you're on dry land and it isn't raining, then you can't use it at all anymore. Together with this, you can no longer enchant a trident with both Riptide and either of Loyalty and Channeling. So Riptide now provides a new mode of transport, but this doesn't remove the attack from the Riptide. You become the projectile yourself when you use a Riptide Trident. So dashing forwards with a Riptide into a mob will deal the same damage as if that mob was hit by the Trident had it been thrown. One more cool thing to note, if you're using the Riptide enchantment underwater, then your model will spin around with some nice wake effects, like a torpedo rushing through the water. And of course, this doesn't come without its share of bugs as well, notably using your trident with the Riptide enchantment in survival mode will simply make it disappear. Let's move on to other added things in this version. There are new advancements in this version as well. Fishy Business is a new advancement for catching a fish. Tactical Fishing is a new advancement for catching a fish without a fishing rod. A Throwaway Joke is a new advancement for throwing a trident at something. And Very Very Frightening is for striking a villager with lightning. Kelp textures have been updated and the world generation of kelp and seagrass have changed. Kelp now will be mainly found in the cold biomes and seagrass will now generate in swamp biomes as well. Seagrass also no longer require water on top of it to survive. Bunch of bug fixes to kelp as well. Kelp sometimes would generate with two top blocks and that is fixed. And the non-top kelp blocks, tall seagrass and bubble columns were missing proper translation strings. The kelp top didn't have an X-like texture like most plants. Top of the kelp texture was always pointing towards the right and it was possible to place kelp on transparent and non-full blocks. And the seagrass, kelp and coral plants would generate on top of magma blocks underwater. Some other random bugs have been fixed as well. Parrots were invisible while on your shoulder, that's fixed in this version. 
and falling blocks would drop as an item when they landed on seagrass, that's also fixed in this version. Cloud rendering has been further optimized and changes have been done to the debug mode. The F3C mode, where if you held down F3 and C at the same time for 10 seconds would crash the game, now gives a warning before it crashes your game, so you can no longer use that to fool people. Of course, this doesn't come without its share of bugs as well. All the other F3 screen key bindings are broken in this version. They only appear to work when inside of an inventory screen, curiously. Other than that, F3 is completely broken and can only be used to crash the game. On the technical note, of course, there's a new item, the Minecraft colon phantom underscore membrane, and a new effect, Minecraft colon slow underscore falling. And those were all the changes for this version. Remember, this is a development version. If you want to try it out, be careful, do it on a copy of your world or on a separate test world so you don't get your world crippled by all these bugs. If you want to try it, head into your Minecraft launcher, go into the launch options tab and select enable snapshots in there. Now hit OK to the message, go back to the news tab where you can now select a latest snapshot profile under the drop down box next to the play button. Select that, start the game, and now you'll be playing the latest snapshot version, which is currently this one, 18w14a. My name is Sliced Lime. I hope you enjoyed this quick update video, and if you did, please help me out in return and hit the like button. That is all for this time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.